Example number one, negative 5.2 times three. There are five steps in order to solve this problem. The first step is to determine if the solution will be negative or positive. And we can use the phrase, same signs positive, different signs negative, in order to determine this. Since the first number is negative and the second number is positive, we will use different signs negative, which means the solution will be negative. Step two, move the decimal points to the right until you have whole numbers. In this problem, we only have one decimal point, and that's in the first number. So we have to move that decimal point one space to the right to make the 5.2 52, which is a whole number. We want to record the number of spaces moved as this is going to come back later in the problem. So notice at the top right of the screen, I'm going to record that one space we moved right now. This will move us on to step four. Multiply the numbers. Notice I did not include the negative sign because I already know the final answer will be negative. Now I can go ahead and multiply the numbers. Three times two is equal to six, and three times five is equal to 15. So 52 times three is equal to 156. This moves us on to the final step. Place the decimal back into the solution. If you look at the top right, you can see the number of spaces moved, which was one, because we moved the decimal point one space to the right. Now we wanna do the opposite of that, and move the decimal point one space to the left. So negative 156 becomes negative 15.6. And the final solution will be negative 15.6. Example number two, negative 2.3 times negative 4.8. Step one, determine if the solution will be negative or positive. If we look at the numbers, we can see that both numbers are negative. So we will use same signs positive. Since both the signs are the same, I know my solution will be positive. So I can actually get rid of both those negative signs right away. Step two, move the decimal points to the right until you have whole numbers. Notice both of these numbers have decimal points. So I wanna move each of these decimal points one space to the right. When I do this, I'm left with the numbers 23 and 48, which are both whole numbers. It's also important for me to record the number of spaces moved as I'm gonna use this information later. So notice at the top right of the screen, I'm gonna record those two spaces that we just moved. Now we can move on to step four. Multiply the numbers. Eight times three is 24. So I'm gonna carry the two. Eight times two is 16, but I also have to add that two from before. So 16 plus two is equal to 18. Moving on to the second number. Notice the four is in the tens place. Since it's in the tens place, I have to add a zero before I continue. Four times three is equal to 12. So I'll keep the two, carry the one. 4 times 2 is equal to 8, but I also have to add that 1 from before. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Now I can add these numbers together, which gives me 1,104. This moves us on to the final step. Place the decimal back into the solution. If we look at the top right, we can see that the number of spaces moved was 2 and we move those two decimal points to the right. So now we have to move two spaces left in our answer, which gives us 11.04. So the final answer will be 11.04. All right, now it's time for you to try. I have two practice problems for you. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. The first answer is 5.2, and the second answer is negative 15.96. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching.